This is a very practical problem illustrating the importance of understanding, you know, ratio, proportion, percentages, and so on. And this kind of highlights the importance that mathematics play in, you know, things that we deal with in real life. So the question is, how many gallons of 2% reduced fat milk can be made from two full half gallon jars, one each of whole milk and fat free milk? And we are given that whole milk has one gram of fat per ounce and 2% reduced fat milk has 0.6 to 5 gram of fat per ounce. And we're also given uh, a conversion if we need it, that's one gallon is equal to 128 ounce. So how do we solve this problem? Well, we start by assuming that if we mix X ounce of whole milk with Y ounce of fat-free milk, we can have the mix in the right amount so that we could have X plus Y ounce of 2% reduced fat milk. And here X and Y has to be in the right proportion in order to give me, you know, the, so the resulting product could be 2% reduced fat milk. Well, what is it that really governs whether I have the right proportion or not? Well, I need to get the proportion of fat right. So in order to produce 2% reduced fat milk by mixing X ounce of whole milk and Y ounce of fat-free milk, X and Y need to be in the right amount, the right proportion, so that I have you know, the right amount of fat in my resulting product. So if I assume that this is the right proportion, X and Y, and of course, X and Y may have certain constraints, and we don't know that, but we'll find that out, right? So fat contained for X ounce of whole milk would be simply X multiplied by one gram, because there is one gram of fat per ounce of whole fat milk. So for X ounce of whole, whole milk, that'll be X multiplied by one. And similarly, fat content for Y ounce of fat-free milk, well, that kind of implied in the definition, right? So that's going to be basically Y multiplied by zero gram. So it's zero, right? So now if the resulting product gives me the right amount of fat that I need for 2% milk, then when I mix them up, I have basically X plus Y ounce of 2% milk. And if it's indeed 2%, it should have the right amount of fat content. And we know that 2% reduced fat milk has 0.625 gram of fat per ounce. So X plus Y ounce of 2% milk will have X plus Y multiplied by 0.625 six to five gram of fat. So now we can equate this too, right? So we can add up the fat content for X ounce of whole milk and Y ounce of fat-free milk, and that should be equal to the fat content of the mixture, right? Which I assume if I mix X and Y ounce of whole milk and fat-free milk respectively, I'm getting the correct proportion to be able to make X plus Y ounce of 2% milk. So this needs to be true, right? Because the amount of fat, it has to come from the individual constitu constituents of the mixture, which in this case is the whole milk, right? Because whole milk is the only one that has got fat. And since I'm taking X ounce, that's basically X gram of fat. And that should be equal to 0.625 x plus y if I am assuming that x, y is the right proportion uh, of whole milk and fat-free milk to produce 2% fat milk. So from this, 
we can basically take the x to one side and we basically get 1 minus 0.625 x is equal to 0.625 y and then this comes to 0.375 x is equal to 0.625 y and if you just divide this so we basically have a ratio of x by y which is 0.625 by 375 and you can just you know since the number of digits following the decimal point is the same you know you can basically you know write this as 625 by 375 and then if you divide both numerator and denominator by 125 you basically get 5 by 3 so that's simple math so basically i have a ratio for x and y and what i'm going to do is I'm going to express the smaller of the two quantities. So since x by y is 5 by 3, which is greater than 1, y is the smaller of the two quantities, right? The denominator is smaller. So I express the denominator y in terms of the numerator, and that comes to y is equal to 3 by 5 multiplied by x, where x is the amount of, or the, or the amount in ounce of whole milk, right? So I need to mix more whole milk and less skim milk in order to get the desired proportion of fat that would give me a mixture that has the right proportion of fat to be called a 2% reduced fat milk, right? So from here on, we can note that this proportion, it should be independent of the unit of measurement, right? So whether it's ounce versus gallon, this should be the same because, again, I mean, if we are just converting the, the measurement unit, you are basically multiplying or dividing by the same number. And we are actually given the conversion also from gallon to ounce, but we don't really need to use that information. So we are good with just noting that this proportion would be independent of the unit in which we are measuring. So it would hold true even if y and x were in gallons. So... From that, we can note that since x is the larger of the two quantities, right? So we can basically use up the whole amount of x that we have, that we have available. So we have, you know, uh, two half gallon jars, one each of the whole milk and fat free milk. And we know the amount of whole milk that we need is going to be greater than the amount of fat-free milk to produce the 2% fat milk. So, so we can pretty much use up the entire amount of whole milk, which is 0.5 gallon. So, so let's set x is equal to 0.5 gallon. And then the amount of fat-free milk that we'll need is basically 3x by 5. So we just substitute 0.5 for x and we get 3 multiplied by 0.5 by 5, which comes to 0.3 gallon. So if we add these x and y, then we basically get the total amount of 2% milk that we can make from these two, which is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3, which is 0.8 gallon. So the final answer would be 0.8 gallons of 2% milk.